Chelsea fans being hanging their hat on the fact that when Nkunku comes back, there's someone to take the chances. But this isn't just missing a striker. This is missing a group of players who can put in a performance and they're sitting at 10th now. Yeah. I mean, again, they had a couple of breakaways. Yes. Uh, and in those couple of breakaways, we saw that Sterling, for some reason, doesn't have the confidence to go and try and score himself. He had a two-yard start. Uh, I'm not sure who the defender was, and he tried to pass to Jackson, who, number one, wasn't even expecting it. And then when he does get it, doesn't really know what to do. But whether Nkunku comes in and does well or not, who's going to get him the chances? I mean, we spoke yesterday about Declan Rice. 100 million for Declan Rice. Now, that's a 100 million footballer. Caicedo and Fernandez. You wouldn't pay 100 million for the two of them right now because they are miles away from a guy like Declan Rice. Mm. And if you're going to spend 200 million on two guys in the middle of the park, they better be dominating some of the game. You can't expect them to dominate the whole game, but at least part of it. I, since the two of them signed, I don't remember them dominating anybody. And that can't, you can't have that when you spend 200 mil. So. Do we go further back? Do we move back to the defence? Well, I mean, Thiago because you, you Silva, stand here. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, Thiago Silva has been magnificent as a player, but now mistake he, at Newcastle. He can't, he can't move his. He can't. The problem for me is he can't move his feet quick enough. I think his brain's still working, but when you can't move your feet, it takes too long. And when you're playing against players like today and Man United, who just couldn't wait to close the ball down, couldn't wait to put you under pressure then you, you end up getting caught with the ball and you make rash decisions and you give the ball away. But can we go to Caicedo, sorry, on, is it, and is it the makeup of the team? Right. And all this sort of, let's get these players and chuck them all together and spend a billion, because he was, he was superb at Brighton. Fantastic. Yeah, he was absolutely superb. Him and McAllister were different gravy. Mm. He goes in here and it's been a really tough start. Really tough. I don't know what... Uh, Enzo Fernando was like at Benfica week in, week out, because we don't, we don't watch the Portuguese league. Uh, but certainly Caicedo, this is not the player that we know at this club. I've mentioned Jackson, and the other one, who another big uh, seven-year contract, Mikhaila Mudric, if he doesn't slow down at the right time, he's never going to make it in the Premier League. He's like a cat in a hot tin roof. Yeah. Right? He wants to do everything. He, we know he's quick, we know he's direct, but he has to take a breath when he's in the final third. He try to do everything at 100 miles an hour. And Pochettino's got some big problems. They were lucky at the weekend.